Hey everybody, uh, this video we're going to do a uh, kind of in-depth look here at the HU58 twin lifter uh, leashy for uh, uh, old BMW locks. Uh, the lock we're going to be working on today is from a 1996 uh, BMW 3 Series. And this is one of the uh, harder leashies to, uh, to use from what I understand as far as the picking and decoding goes. Uh, now on this one here, I've already cut the key for it. I got the uh, A and the B track. And you want to see a video of the key being cut uh, up here in the uh, top right corner. There'll be a link to that. And the uh, key works well. Now, uh, these locks here, um, one thing that makes it complicated, um, you know, most locks uh, for auto automotive here when you're picking, you know, you'll have like, you know, even numbers on the top, odd on the bottom, or, you know, they just, they'll alternate like that. Or like the HU101, some of those will have, you know, one, two going one way, three, four the other, five, six the other. Uh, the HU58, I'll throw a graphic up here. See, so has number one going one way, and then two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and nine, 10, 11, and then 12 going the other way by itself. And then uh, one of the harder things about this is when you actually uh, read the lock, you're actually reading the opposite way that you've picked. So I'll go ahead and pick it here, and then I'll uh, show you what we're talking about. Uh, as far as picking goes, like any other leash, you have know, kind of heaviest tension. If it uh, springs, leave it alone. Now, on this lock, I like that graphic. I have one going down, so then two and three are going to be going up, and we'll just alternate from there every two spaces. So put some tension on it here. Let me zoom in. All right, got tension on it here. I'm just to start with on number one. Tiny click on one, and then two and three will be going up. Okay, four and five going down. Six and seven will be going up. Okay, eight springy. That going down. Nine's going down. Okay, 10 and 11 going up, 12 going down, and we'll head back to 1 here. Okay, 2, 3, 4, and we are open. All right, and uh, so now to uh, decode this, I'll put this graphic up here. You see this is the way we're going to be reading it, which is the opposite of the way that we picked it. So, you know, if you had to push down to uh, pick number one, then you're going to be using the opposite lifter going the other way to actually read it. So uh, that's actually going to work like this here. And as far as the tracks go, you have the uh, odd numbers on top on the A track, and then you're going to have the even numbers on the B track. So we'll fill it in on Instacode as we go here. Okay, so since one was picked down, we're going to use the opposite lifter and go the other way to read it. So one is a two. And then uh, two is a one, three is a three, okay, four is a three, five is a three, six is a four, seven is a one, eight is a four. Nine is a two, ten is a one, eleven is a three, and last but not least, we have twelve, which is a one. So that gives us uh, a bidding here on our A track, as we see, is two, three, three, one, two, three, and our B track of one, three, four, four, one, one. And um, just another little side note on this, a lot of these locks uh, are not going to have wafers 3 and 9, so you'll need to use Instacode. Uh, this one happened to have uh, all, all 12 wafers in it, so you know, don't need Instacode, but just put it on the screen so you can actually see where you're filling them in at. Uh, makes it different than all the rest of them, you know, where you're actually going to be you know, reading the opposite way that you're picking. So that's kind of just a, kind of a little bit of an in-depth look here uh, at this leash. It's uh, totally take the mystery out of it. Um, this was real confusing for me, and I had to get some uh, tutelage from a uh, gentleman at Leashy on uh, the problem. I could pick it real easy, but I was having a real hard time reading it. Uh, once he explained it, though, I was able to uh, figure it out, and uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link here on the bottom right of the screen uh, to my Leashy playlist, so you'll see um, all the other Leashy videos that I've done. And if you have any uh, questions or comments on this video, um, as always, please put them in the comments. And um, yeah, I guess that's all we got for this one, guys. We'll talk to everybody later.